バイリンガルウェブマガジン DIG 東京のディレクターを務めるカズーこと G ・カズオペニアです。英語力がどんどんつく学習法へようこそ。DIG 東京は8つのカテゴリーのコラムを日本語と英語で併記しているウェブマガジンです。英語力がどんどんつく学習法は僕がこれまでの翻訳や通訳の仕事を通して培ったさまざまな英語上達についてのノウハウをレッスン形式にまとめたもので、読む、書く、聞く、話すという4つのスキルが身につくと思います。ディグ東京のビジネスやライフスタイルに関するコラムのテキストを用いるのでビジネスですぐに使える英語力や旅行や海外での生活に役立つ英会話力がつきますディグ東京のテキストと YouTube の動画を使ったこのレッスンを繰り返すことで大学受験のための英語力はもちろんのこと TOEIC、TOEFL、英検などの試験のための英語力もどんどんつくことでしょうではこのレッスンの方法について説明しますまずは DIG 東京のテキストのページと YouTube の動画をタブや別ウィンドウを使って両方ともすぐ見られる状態にしてくださいそうしたら DIG 東京の日本語のテキストだけをまず先に読んでください次に英語のテキストだけを読んでください英語のテキストでわからない英単語や熟語をネット検索を使って自分で調べてみましょうもちろんわからない日本語があればそれもチェックしてください次に英語のテキストをもう一度読んでみてください。これで予習が終了です。ここからこの動画によるレッスンを行います。この YouTube の動画を再生させて英語を聞きながら DIG 東京の英語テキストを目読してください。次に英語テキストを見ないでこの YouTube の動画だけを見ながら英語をよく聞いてください。最後に YouTube の音声に合わせて英語テキストを音読してください。以上のステップを繰り返すことで、英語の表現力、読解力、ヒアリング力、スピーキング力が確実に上達するはずです。2回目以降のレッスンの際には、この画面の下にあるもっと見るを開いて、テキストの朗読のところをクリックしてください。すぐにテキスト本文を読み上げる部分に行けます。今回は Cinema and Theater 4渋谷 Mini Theaters 渋谷のミニシアターについて紹介しました。楽しみながらレッスンしましょう。One. Prologue. One of the biggest perks of living in a big city is having access to playhouses and so-called mini theaters. These kinds of venues may not exactly be financially profitable, but they can exist because the city is a diverse place inhabited by people of all walks of life. Shibuya is a city that truly has many charms, and one of them is the great mini theater. A mini theater, in terms of the Japanese film industry, is a small independently run theater, meaning unaffiliated with major film distribution companies, that has a seating capacity of 200 or less. Since multiplexes have made the 200 seat 15 screen facilities the norm, some have argued that the mini theater category is meaningless. But although the term is no longer useful to indicate seating capacity, in Shibuya's case, it is still a useful term to indicate a certain style. Mini theaters have a distinct feel and vibe that make the experience different from the massive screen and in your face sound of multiplexes and the PC or home theater setup. Each hako, as the Japanese call them, hako is the Japanese word for box, has its own unique selections. And just as fascinating are the tastes of respective audiences. 2. Uplink. Uplink is a great multi purpose cultural facility that moved to the hip neighborhood known as Okushibu in 2006. In addition to three small screens, it has a gallery, a gift shop, and an adjacent cafe and restaurant on the first floor called Tabela, serving up transnational cuisine from the Middle East, Africa, and beyond. In addition to screening films, Uplink hosts talk shows, live music, live performances, workshops, and more. It also runs a popular web portal for all things cultural related called WebDice. An especially memorable Uplink experience for me was when I saw Hafu, a documentary about half Japanese people living in Japan, back in 2013. It motivated me to connect with more half Japanese folks in Japan and around the world through social media. 3. Eurospace. Kino House is a unique facility located in Maruyama Cho, a neighborhood of clubs and love hotels. On the third floor is the mini theater Eurospace, 
On the second floor is a live music venue called Euro Live, and the film school of Tokyo takes up the basement all the way up to some space on the second floor. Eurospace produces films and also distributes them. It has distributed films from such idiosyncratic directors as Abis Kiarostami, Aki Kaurismaki, and Francois Ozon. And it has produced films from eccentric directors like Wayne Wang, John Pierre Limousin, Leos Carax, Kurosawa Kiyoshi, and Shiota Akihiko. 4. Theater Image Forum. Image Forum, which is located near Aoyama Gakuin University, is a mini theater that is quintessentially Shibuya. In addition to being a two screen theater, it also cultivates filmmakers and produces and distributes experimental films. A number of female filmmakers who have made a name for themselves in recent years are our alumni of Image Forum Institute of Moving Images, Iguchi Nami, Tanada Yuki, and Iwata Yuki. 5. Le Cinema Le Cinema is a two-screen mini-theater inside Bunkamura. Initially, it screened mostly European films, especially French. But in recent years, they've also been screening films from auteurs in Asia and the U.S. Another notable thing about this theater is the large-sized pamphlets slash programs, which are beautifully printed on quality paper, and even include excerpts from the script. 6. Epilogue The other day we were in front of Tokyo Department Store Main Store in Shibuya when a college kid, completely absorbed in his phone, bumped into Big Brother. He had a lacrosse stick sticking out of his backpack and was sporting sweats from a certain well-known university. The kid didn't so much as look up, no apology, and quickly disappeared into the Shoto residential area. Big Brother began. 2018 marks 150 years since the Meiji Restoration. For the past 150 years, Japanese people have made every effort to catch up and surpass the West. And now it can be argued that we've caught up to the West in terms of economy and material riches. But the million dollar question is, has that really made the Japanese happy? Bibi and I walk past Bunkamura. In Europe, they have this concept called the noblesse oblige, where people of high social status and wealth have a duty to society. And over in America, they have this idea of charity. The rich are to be charitable toward the poor. In Japan, too, up until the Edo period, there was a similar ideology as part of Confucianism and Bushido. BB is starting to get a little heated up. But these days, Japanese people have become possessed by the religions of individualism and mammonism. All politicians are interested in is winning elections and carrying on affairs. Elite bureaucrats are only after promotions and sexually harassing women. Doctors and lawyers are only too eager to make a buck. Why did Japan become this way? It's because they prized the experts, specialists, above all else, and undervalued intellectuals, generalists. We pass by Uplink and are now walking along the winding path that sits above Udagawa River. Elites in the West believe in the importance of a liberal arts education. They value not just academic knowledge, they see the cultural and artistic interests and athletic prowess as part of who a person is. It goes without saying that school grades and hensachi, percentile rankings that indicates what universities a student can get into, the size of the company you work at or your annual income, these things, of course, don't make a person content. But Japanese people these days are so out of touch that they've even forgotten this nugget of common sense. Bibi and I walk by the west entrance to NHK. What makes people happy is their ties to their family, to their friends. Cultured conversations based on shared interests, sharing a meal with someone. These are the things that bring people happiness. To be able to carry on those conversations, of course, you need to have read books, watched movies, listened to music, experienced art, traveled the world, and played sports. Unfortunately, Japanese people these days have the time and money to commit to their smartphones, but not for the pursuits that make a person cultured. We're now by the Koban police box at the foot of Yoyogi Park, waiting for the signal to change at the crossing. There are five salarymen around us, all fascinated by their smartphones. 
How different things would be if business people set aside the time once a week to go to a mini theater and watched films from around the world. Just once a week. That means 50 films in a year. 250 films over five years. Something like that would give a person a new outlook on life. Or what if they were to experience every event being held at Bunkamura for an entire year? Exhibitions, classical music concerts, plays, ballets, movies. Get a primer on the arts. To borrow the words of Terayama Shuji, throw away your smartphones and rally at Bunkamura. Bibi and I walk into our office. Ijo, Cinema and Theater 4. Shibuya's Mini Theaters no Ego Tekisto Rodok Shimashita. Ikaga de Shitaka? それぞれのミニシアターで上映されたおすすめの作品もリストアップしましたどれもおすすめのものばかりですこのコンテンツが気に入ったら YouTube のこの動画の右下にあるボタンからチャンネル登録をぜひ行ってくださいテキストの最後にある Facebook、Twitter、Instagram のアイコンから DigTokyo の公式アカウントに入りフォローしてくださいご意見ご要望がありましたら YouTube や SNS のコメント欄にご記入ください www.digtokyo.jp